Critics of the president's foreign trips are being proven wrong as the chief executive's efforts to attract more investors to the country are bearing a lot of fruit. Acting as the primary salesperson of the country, the leader of the land sales pitch has enticed foreign investors to set up shop here, which in turn generates a lot of quality jobs that many Filipinos have benefited from. Luisa Erispe has the full report. With the recent increase in the employment rate and several job openings in the country, the Department of Labor and Employment sees these may be fruits of labor of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr.'s perseverance to attract investors from countries all over the world. As a matter of fact, according to Labor Department, it is projected that about 300,000 jobs will be generated for Filipinos as of the result of the recent ventures of the President. These are from 12 countries, including Netherlands, Germany, U.S., and many more. Dole says the leading industries on these jobs are from power and renewable energy sectors. Nakita namin na gumagalaw na at batay dun sa ibinahagi sa amin na ulat ng DTI dahil sila yung may kinalaman talaga directly sa mga investment. Kami naman ay sumusuporta in terms of preparing our manpower, ano bang requirements. Meron silang tinatayang humigit kumulang, conservative ito ha, mga 300,000. Na sigurong nakikita natin na medyo pinag-uukulan ng pansin, may kinalaman sa power and re renewable energy sector. Dolly believes these numbers may increase over time as the president continues to captivate the trust of investors, just as how he attracted investors from his recent travel to Japan to expand the local semiconductor industry. Yung pinakahuling uh, biyahe ng ating Pangulo sa Bansang Hapon, ang kanilang uh, tinitignan na uh, expansion o dagdag na investment may kinalaman sa semiconductor. Dole also believes the president's efforts could possibly be a factor on the decreasing unemployment rate in the country, which the survey from the Philippine Statistics Authority stated that is 3.1% last December 2023 from 3.6% in November. Moreover, Dole sees the increase on the jobs under the industry of construction, ITBPM, health sector, tourism, and agriculture ruled out the change on the numbers. Because of this, the department has committed to focus more on generating thousands to millions of jobs from these industries under the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028 with the help of the private sector. However, Dole admits the good flow of generating jobs and employment rate may be affected somehow if the 100 pesos minimum wage increase pushes through. The Labor Department believes this must be thoroughly studied and discussed first as this may significantly impact several micro, small, and medium enterprises or MSMEs in the country. Tinitignan namin, gano'n ba ang kalaking porsyento uh, ang dagdag niyan kada manggagawa? No? At ano magiging epekto nito sa mga uh, negosyo, enterprises na medyo kailangang alalayan? No? Parang uh, sa simulation, parang ang tanda ko, Pwede siyang maglaro sa karagdagan na 15 to 20 percent. The dollar is also apprehensive that a chain reaction in the GDP growth, inflation, and employment rate may happen if the proposal is approved. Pinag-uukulan namin ang pansin yun kasi uh, kung merong mga dislokasyon, hindi rin nga, kaya nga yung tanong mo, project ba namin gano'ng karaming trabaho mawawala? Gusto nga namin i-project gano'ng karaming madadagdag eh. Maari sana. Kaya nga, uh, iniulit ko lang, napakahirap pong magbalanse ng uh, pagdadagdag ng sweldo. Kahit na gano'n ka kaliit yung close quote, sa tingin ng mga maliliit, malaki, di ba? So, tinitignan namin ang kanyang impact doon sa employment level din. Dole has assured its respect for the legislative power of the Senate and Congress on the matter. And even though this was previously tackled by both houses, still, the department said, it is ready to submit their technical inputs on the ongoing issue. Luisa Erispe from the National TV for a new and better republic.